So on your little timetable that you'll be given, you'll be given a piece of paper and it'll have all of the lessons you'll have on that day. You'll be given first period, so when you first come in you go straight to your first lesson which will be on your timetable and it'll say the room number and if you don't know where that room is you just ask one of us and we'll help you. Not for the first few weeks of year 7, your teachers will understand that you are unfamiliar with the school and that you are still getting used to everything. So you need pen, pencil, calculator, rubber, they're the obvious ones. But you also need, a did I say ruler? Ruler as well, <laughs> they're the obvious ones. You also need a protractor, a compass some highlighters if you want to make your work look snazzy like I do, your phone but keep it turned off in your bags but at break and lunch you're allowed it on, a school bag obviously, <laughs> can't believe I missed that, a notepad would be useful, I think I've covered it, oh and if you want to bring your own food you can bring your own food but you're not allowed to eat it in class, you're only allowed to eat it at lunch and breaks and then you can bring a bottle of water as well if you want to keep it keep self hydrated you'll find out which house colour and which tutor group you'll be in at the end of the summer term but please don't worry if you're not in the same tutor group or the same house colour as your friends because you'll soon start to meet lots of new people and make lots of new friends you're allowed to bring mobile phones to school but prohibited during lesson as well as between form and are only allowed at break this is review termly Keep an eye out for the block signs. You can usually find them outside of the main door of each block. They'll tell you which block you're in as well as which rooms are there. At Ken Stimson there were over 70 classrooms spread over 5 blocks. Look at your A to Z guide for your map and watch the virtual tours to familiarise yourself with the subject areas. Remember, 3LO4 stands for Block 3, Lower Floor, Classroom 4. You'll take English, Maths, Science, PE, PSHE, DT, Computing, Art, Drama, Dance, Music, History and Geography, Italian or French. All subjects are totally different to each other with different unique activities. Some subjects you might like and some might find quite difficult. The subjects you will study will be Maths, English, Science, Geography, History, RE, PE, dance, drama, music, art, technology, French and computing. You have five lessons a day which are one hour long, with the last lesson being 65 minutes long. This is constructed by lesson one and two in form for 20 minutes. You will then have break one for half an hour in lesson three and four, followed by break two, 35 minutes and then lesson five, for 65 minutes. Check your A to Z guide for more information. So you'll have many other different teachers. Some will be funny, some will be strict, but what matters the most is that they all have different teaching styles and that's what makes every day so different. Yes, they can be strict sometimes, but that's just because they want to help you get the best grades you possibly can. You won't get a great deal of homework in Year 7 and the homework you do receive is fun and never over-prescribed. There is a homework club on every night if you do choose to attend. Meeting new friends is something everyone's going to find daunting regardless of what age you are. It's inevitable that you're going to be nervous, but one key thing to remember is that everyone will be in the same situation. Nobody's going to know anybody apart from maybe a handful of people that have come up from primary school together. The best thing to do is be true to yourself and you will find people with common interests and values. So you get a lunch and you get a break and you can just see them then, you can sit with them on the same table. If you want to play football, you can go and play football with them. If you want to just sit down and have a little chit chat, sit down and have a little chit chat. At it, it, lunch and breaks you can just kind of wander about yourselves, get some food, eat. Personally I love eating. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So you can just get to see them at lunch and breaks. 
The older students, although appearing daunting, are not as bad as you think. A large majority of them are willing to help and are extremely pleasant to communicate with. And there will be many students that over your time at Ken Stimson you will become so familiar with due to the likes of student council and other teams in school such as our wellbeing team. They're nowhere near as bad as you think, don't worry. Yes, they have a sixth form area, a computer room, common room and smaller classrooms, but you'll see them around the school. Some sixth formers may be buddies, mentors or be on duty at break times. Ultimately, there's bullying at every school, but KSCS has an excellent student support team that you can go to about any bullying that you might be experiencing, as well as a wellbeing team that you can go to to discuss any worries you might have. You need to tell your teachers if you're feeling unwell, then they will give you a pass to student reception. Our school canteen serves a wide variety of food and drinks, all ensuring you are welcome to a very healthy diet. The variety spreads from juices, waters and fizzy fruit drinks and as far as food goes, chicken and chips, breakfast foods, fruit and pasta are all freshly cooked and prepared. On your first day they'll scan your fingerprint which will then be used to pay for your lunch. No, we are not a nut free school but we do have many students and staff members with allergies and this has never been a problem. The school has tried to make the uniform accessible for everyone. You can get your shirts, skirts, trousers and shoes from any high street store. The only expensive thing is your blazer, but it is very good quality and will last you for a few years. Some students choose to wear their blazers as coats, as it is compulsory to wear it at all times. So there's many clubs uh, when you join Kent Stimson to enjoy and get involved in and these will eventually all be put into a timetable um, and these clubs can be like for example there's some clubs like English club, maths club, there's also dance, uh, drama, um, PE and there's lots more clubs um, as well uh, to get involved in. Every time we have a reward assembly to congratulate those who worked hard. You can also take part in different activities and sports to school as a reward for your hard work. You also get bronze, silver and gold badges and nominations for the Teacher and Student of the Month and lots more. So yeah, there is a U7 rugby team as well as a basketball, netball and football team which is amazing to get involved in because they do weekly training and they can also play against other schools. We were rated as good by Ofsted in April 2016. Covid-19 may affect your start to school, however, this will not hinder your opportunities as staff and students will ensure you the most positive start to your secondary school life. But as far as Covid-19 is concerned, it is unfortunately a waiting game.